Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Recently I've been introduced to the programming language processing, which is a language that's getting more and more popular. As you can see um, on the top here, you can use processing to make really cool uh, JavaScript web pages. And um, so you can see here, this page is going to have a really cool animation loaded very soon. A really cool background. That's all designed in processing. And then you can also use it to program your phones, uh, Android phones. And you can also use it to write uh, Python code, which is used for a wide variety of applications uh, in engineering and so on. So what we want to do is basically get you guys started with uh, downloading processing and uh, making your first program by drawing a few shapes onto the screen. So let's start with downloading processing. So it's processing.org slash download and no donation. Um, obviously uh, you can donate if you want. So download. And I'm using Windows 10 64 bit, so I'll choose that. And that's what the icon's gonna look like P with a 3 next to it. So it's downloading, it's only 115 megabytes. So let it download. Um, and then when it's done, come back and we'll install it together. Okay, so now we've downloaded the file. Let's open it up and uh, depending on what sort of uh, program you use to uncompress files, I use Windows RAR. So I'm going to extract it to my desktop. So I'm just going to put it in my desktop and I'm going to put it in a folder called processing. But you can put it wherever you like. So it's extracting now. Okay, so now that it's done extracting, I'm going to go into my folder, processing folder, and I'm going to go into processing again. And then I'm going to double click on processing.exe, which is the program for typing in the processing code. So it says, welcome to processing three, get started. And people usually show you how it works by um, some sort of example. So if you want, you could file uh, examples and look at some of these basic examples um, such as shapes, images, and so on. But I find it easier to just start from scratch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is type in void setup brackets and curly braces and finish it off somewhere down here. So what I have done is basically created a function called setup. What is a function? A function is basically a series of steps that you're going to take all grouped together. So what the program does is at the start, it runs the setup function. So whatever code you put, in here is going to be run by the program. So what are we going to put in here? Well, let's leave it blank. Okay, let's just leave it blank and see what happens. If you run the program, allow access, this thing, this window shows up, but you can't do anything with it. Okay, you can't move it, you can't do anything. So let's just turn that off. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a function called size. So what the size function does is it allows you to create a window of a certain size. So let's create a window with 
500 pixels wide and 500 pixels high and put a semicolon at the end of the line so if you run this code it creates a window of this size 500 pixels wide 500 pixels high okay and um, you can also you can see if you run the program you get a window with a gray background so to change that you can also make it uh, background so use the background function um, so basically a function is just something that uh, does something for you so the background function will change your background right it does something um, so what are we going to change it to well basically we want uh, to select a certain color so colors are also represented using numbers using the RGB red green blue values so if you go into um, if you go into let's see tools color selector right then you can choose a certain color here choose a certain color in the spectrum and then choose how bright you want it to be then these are the RGB values 38 198 so um, what happened so can we just select that no so let's just do 32 192 198 okay so if you run the program now okay you got a different background color so that's really cool so you guess what the function setup does the function setup basically sets up your window and the background but to actually do stuff with the program we need to use another function so underneath it somewhere we're gonna put in void draw so this is a function that is called every single uh, I guess you can think of it as every single frame so um, depending on how fast your program is going maybe it's 24 frames per second or something it's going to draw it's going to execute onto the screen whatever you write whatever code you write in here so let's start by drawing something onto the screen a shape so let's start off by drawing a rectangle so let's go rect bracket okay and the rectangle will take in some sort of input okay in the brackets just like the background but what can it what sort of input can it accept well let's put in um, 0 0 10 20 okay and you will see what all this means in a second so let's run the code click run and you will see that I have drawn a small rectangle on the top left so 0 0 is actually the top left of the program so if you have a look at the window the top left has the coordinates of x is 0 and y is 0 now if you move to the right okay if you move the x value to the right so instead of 0 here let's put in for example 100 and you run it okay it moves the rectangle to the right and if you put in 150 it'll move to the right a little bit more so and then if you put in 300 for example it'll move to the right even more okay so the first number in the rectangle function refers to the top left corner how far away it is uh, from the origin the number zero is vertically how far it is from the top okay so that's the y coordinate so we can change it to for example 200 and it will move the rectangle down so you can see the rectangle is now over here the 10 and the 20 refers to the width and the height of the um, 
of the rectangle so we can change the width to for example uh, 50 and the height to 120 and if you run it okay you can see the width is now 50 pixels and the height is now 100 in pixels so a pixel you can think of as just a dot on the screen so if you type in rect and just one single bracket what you can do is you can hover your mouse over rect and it gives you a bit of a hint as to what numbers you can put inside the bracket so it says it expects parameters so these numbers are called parameters that you can put inside a function uh, parameters like float 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 so the four floats each float just represents a number that can have um, a decimal point so you could put, for example put in 300.26 and it will create um, a rectangle that starts at a horizontal position of 300.26 on the top left so um, rather than uh, rex um, let's say I now want to draw an ellipse so I put in the code ellipse bracket but I don't know what to put in here so I hover my mouse over it. again there are four numbers but let's say I don't know what the four numbers represent then you can right click on it and choose find in reference okay and it actually shows you it actually shows you in a web browser okay so it shows you in the web browser what the function does okay and an example and it tell ex explains it to you so the first two parameters set the location the third and fourth parameter set the width and the height okay so let's try that so let's try ellipse 0 0 uh, 10 20 okay so what happens is we created an ellipse on the top left but you can see that it doesn't show anything because the X and the Y of the um, origin is zero so of the center is zero so you can't see anything so let's make it um, just 10 for everything and then you'll be able to see stuff right we can see a little circle so yep let's uh, make the width a bit bigger so let's make it uh, width let's make it 100 and the height let's make it 50 and now we have um, this shape but um, because the width is 50 uh, 100 um, I sort of have to make it move to the right a little bit more so let's make it move to the right 200 let's move down a uh, hundred so run it right it's now down here so yeah it's uh, pretty cool now wait I just want the ellipse to be touching the top left so let's make the width 100 but let's make the X coordinate 50 the height is 50 so let's make the Y coordinate 25 so now it should just be touching the boundary yep so that's what I have an ellipse uh, so what else do I want um, we got a rectangle an ellipse and can we draw a triangle can we draw a triangle so let's go triangle All right again I have no idea what to put in here so right click find in reference and it's got triangle six numbers so we got x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so basically you can specify three points and they will join the points together with lines so the first point let's make it top left again and second point let's make it a hundred a hundred 
All right, X is 100, Y is 100. And third point, let's make it um, 200 for X, 50 for Y. So let's see what happens. So the first point is that 0, 0, which is the top left. The second point is that 100, 100. So move 100 to the right, move 100 down. That's the second point. Third point is that 200 from the left. So from the top left, 200 pixels, 50 pixels down. So 50 pixels down. And that's the third point. So it's created a triangle. Okay, so that's the end of the first lesson. What I want you to do is simply experiment with these three shapes. So if I want another rectangle, for example, I can put in another rectangle and let's put it somewhere else with different numbers um, and just see what happens. So now you have this rectangle is not even showing up because the Y value is too high. Let's just make it 150. Okay, then you can see another rectangle we just created and so on. So yeah, experiment with these shapes, draw some sort of art, okay, with these shapes. And then come back for the second lesson when you're comfortable with all of these uh, functions. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.